Hello everyone! We decided to cook the longest burger. Presumably, it will take four days to prepare it. Day one. Let's start with pork ribs. First of all, we undermine the films. And tear them off. For the marinade, a mixture of peppers in a mortar and grind them. And throw that into the bowl. There's also a lot of smoked paprika, salt, Worcestershire sauce, and a lot of mustard. Mix up that marinade. And spread it out on the ribs. Rub it in well. We transfer the ribs to a special package. And vacuum seal them. That's it, send them into the refrigerator for three days. Let the marinade penetrate to the maximum. We also decided to pickle some chili peppers. To do this, cut them into circles. Done. Put a saucepan with water on the stove. Add in a lot of sugar. And the same amount of salt. Also pour in some apple cider vinegar. We bring this marinade to a boil and pour chili peppers into it. Boil it all for five minutes. And then it's ready. You can pour it into the jar. Day two. Let's start with making homemade cheese. Put a saucepan on the stove and put in 400 grams of natural cottage cheese into it. Pour 400 milliliters of homemade milk and heat it all up, stirring constantly. 
After five minutes, the liquid turned yellowish, and this means that the serum is separated. We drain all this through a sieve. And we send the clean cheese back to the saucepan. And onto the stove. Add orange dye, half a teaspoon of soda, and the same amount of salt. Over the some low heat, we constantly crush and mix the cheese. At some point it'll all melt and it'll almost be ready to eat. Now we click to prepare a square mold. From the inside we lubricate it with oil. Shift in the melted cheese and distribute it by hand. In an hour, it'll all cool down, and then it's completely ready. The next thing we need to do is dry some tomatoes. We cut the fresh tomato into two parts. Then lay them out onto the grill. Sprinkle salt very abundantly. That's it. You can send our fresh tomatoes to the oven. We set it to 70 degrees in the convection mode. We leave them to languish until the next morning. Day three. Our tomatoes have already dried out very much and have decreased in size by five times. We take a jar, pour provincial herbs into it, then load in the dried tomatoes, and pour in olive oil to the top. That's it. At this, the dried tomatoes are ready. We'll need them later. In the meantime, take the onion and peel it from the husk. Cut into half rings. Put a frying pan on the stove and a little oil in there. And put in the onion. It needs to be fried to this slightly brown color. Then pour in the water. Thanks to this, it'll become softer. Now just add some sugar. Mix the onion and caramelize. In the end, we get an awesome soft and sweet onion. For the barbecue sauce, peel the red onion and slice. Slice it into strips. Crush a garlic head and peel the cloves. We crush it again and crumble it. Put a saucepan on the burner. Cut off a piece of butter and send it to the saucepan. Now fry the garlic with the onion. We open up a tomato paste and add four tablespoons to our sauce. Pour 
pouring some whiskey. And add for sweetness a lot of honey. To get that spicy chili pepper and some Tabasco. Squeeze out some lemon juice. Salt. Pour in some liquid smoke and knead it. Boil for a couple more minutes and the barbecue sauce is ready. Now we just need to punch it thoroughly through an immersion blender. And pour it into a sauce thing. Done. For our super long burger cooking, we will make the softest brioche bun. Pour some milk into a bowl. And break in half a package of yeast. Add some sugar. Salt. And mix it all well. Then we break in four eggs. We put the bowl into the mixer. We gradually fill in the flour. After five minutes of kneading, you should get a dough flowing off the hook. Cut off 100 grams of butter and throw it into the bowl. Now we need the dough straight for a long time for 30 minutes. As a result, it should come off the walls of the bowl. Now we take a baking sheet, pour it abundantly with oil, spread the dough in a baking sheet, Spread it out wide. And cover it with some cling film. Now leave the dough to rise in a warm place. After an hour and a half, it is tripled in size. We take off the film. And once again, we crush it with our hands. We form some balls and put them on a baking sheet. We place elevations in the corners and cover with cling film so that it doesn't touch the buns. We're waiting another 20 minutes for them to get up. Done. In a bowl, we break one egg, pour milk, and mix. We glaze those buns so they're nice and wet. Send them out of the grill and turn on the gas. We will bake at 180 degrees for 25 minutes and the buns are ready. They turned out to be real freaking soft. The last fourth day. The ribs are already completely marinated. We also need a baking sheet. We open a can of beer and pour it into the baking tray. There's a special grill for the top. Open the package, 
shift the ribs to the grid. We unfold the foil from above. Press it tightly from all sides. That's it, we can put it on the grill. And in the meantime, we will make a glaze for them. Fry these cloves of garlic. Dump a glass of thawed cherries. And evaporate the juice a little bit. Pour some pepper into a mortar and crush. Throw it into the sauce. A little tomato paste. Basil. Salt and sugar. Lemon in half and squeeze out the juice. We mix our glaze and it's almost ready. Now we just need to kill it with a blender for about three minutes. The ribs have been grilled for three hours. We take them out. And open up the foil. We apply cherry glaze with a brush. And shove it back into grill. After 10 minutes, the ribs already look awesome, but we will glaze them again so that the layer is bigger. Another 10 minutes and the ribs are finally ready. We get them out. We put the ignition bowl on the grill and fill it with coals. We set fire to a tablet of dry alcohol and let it ignite the coals. Done. We pour them into the grill. And we put the bars in place. We proceed to the preparation of the cutlets. We need beef and pork fat. Cut the fat into strips. We cut the largest films from the meat. And cut it into convenient pieces for the meat grinder. Now we take the meat grater itself, substitute a bowl, and put the meat in the saucer. Now we begin to twist the stuffing. Also finally chop some smoked bacon. And throw it 
throw that in there too. We open it and take out our dried tomatoes. We cut them finely. We put that into the meat as well. Freshly ground chili pepper. And of course, salt. That's it. We need the mince meat thoroughly with our hands. Now we form balls from it. We send it to a square parchment and form a cutlet. We made three pieces. We're gonna grill them. While they are being grilled on one side, we will use lettuce leaves and tomato. We cut them. And now we try and cut our homemade cheese into slices. We cut our super soft brioche buns into two parts. The pork ribs are still hot, therefore we shift them to the cutting board and very simply take out the bones. Cut them into three parts. Turn the cutlets to the other side. Fry them a little bit more and take them out. Now we put the buns on the grill. For literally 20 seconds until the crust appears and take them out. Now we're gonna build our burger. We lubricate the top bun with caramelized onions. Tear off a piece of lettuce and put it on the bottom bun. Next comes the juicy burger, two slices of homemade cheese, squeeze out the barbecue sauce. Next comes tomatoes, pork ribs, barbecue sauce again, Pickled chili peppers. And top it with a bun. That's it, the burger we've been cooking for four days is finally ready. Let's try it. Mm. This is one of the most delicious burgers I've ever tasted. What does it have to do with nothing is super expensive? It's just that every ingredient in this burger is of the highest quality. This burger has the most meaty taste thanks to the rib and the cutlet. And our homemade barbecue sauce, pickled chili peppers are just something else. And if you want a continuation of this category of videos, then put likes on it. 200,000 likes and we continue you guys. Click on the playlist. Bye everybody.